St. Moritz Church, maybe cathedral, in Olomouc, which is a city in Moravia, which is a region of Czech Republic. So let's walk around, let's have a look. This is an interesting uh, statue or whatever it is, cross with the sentence, what will you do, Pope? Well, it's a loaded question. About what? But I'm hoping this leads me to the main square. And maybe this is a town hall. It looks like it could be. It's in the middle of the square. And here we have a bakery. The Petrash Palace, a Renaissance palace which was built from two Gothic stone burger houses and extended into the courtyard in the second half of the 16th century. No. It does look impressive. Wow, what a contrast to Prague or Wroclaw or Krakow, I mean, this is not overcrowded. The Holy Trinity Column is the biggest Baroque sculptural group in Central Europe. Rising to the height of over 32 meters is the tallest monument in the Czech Republic. Since 2000 it has been inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List as one of the eminent works of Central European Baroque. Uh, there are no tourists here. It's a weekend and it's virtually empty when you compare it to touristy spots across Europe. Oh, they have their own town clock. A uh, town hall with astronomical clock. Actually, when you say Olomouc, all people in Czech Republic have this associated with uh, Olomouc, Olomouc uh, cheese, which is a really kind of a peculiar thing. because uh, it's an acquired taste. Everyone knows it in Czech Republic. Many people love it, many people hate it. There is no middle ground because it smells, uh, I would say, pretty bad. The taste, as I said, is acquired taste. Uh, it's uh, a little bit salty. You cannot compare the taste to any other cheese that I know of and I am a little bit disappointed that it's closed because I would definitely love to have it. You can buy it anywhere in Czech Republic in any grocery market or supermarket but it's produced only here in Olomouc. Hopefully, I'll find it somewhere around here. And by the way, they still have the cobblestones here. Thank God they didn't get rid of it during the crazy times of the communist rule, which actually they did in many towns. They paved over it or put asphalt on top and it definitely lost character when they were trying to improve the roads in the cities and towns in the old towns. I would say not as impressive as the upper square but still looks interesting. Looking at the stores here 
I wouldn't say that this is really geared towards tourists. There is uh, underwear and stocking. There is some Greek food. Here is a reality. Office if you want to buy some house here. Oh wow, I cannot believe this Nepali restaurant here. As much as I love Nepali food, and I really do, since I am here I guess I should have some Moravian food instead of Nepali food. Okay, so what does it tell us to the left is a uh, cathedral of St. Michael, chapel of St. Jana, Sarkandra and another water fountain. Well, what is this little church? It's called Capuchin church of the Annunciation of the Lord. Here the sign says Theological Convict, which means a convent, not a prisoner. Here we have some information. Dominican convent with chapel of Saint Alexei. The Dominicans settled in Olomouc around 1240 at the older chapel of Saint Michael. After 1348 the Gothic monastery became a meeting place of provincial assemblies and courts. Oh, and did I mention that they have a uh, kind of a famous good university here in Olomouc, Faculty of Arts and Faculty of Theology. Founder of Genetics, Gregor Johann Mendel. He studied here from 1840 to 1843 at the University of Almost. Wow. Very famous alumni. This looks like a pretty old house being repaired. Very nice. Interesting contemporary art. I guess he will traverse the whole house. And people stop by and are watching. Obviously, quite interesting. Not your typical modern art. open invitation three hundred years old Roman Catholic Church of Our Lady of the Snows. Hmm. Uh, and this is St. Wenceslaus Cathedral. Pope John Paul II visited this cathedral in 1995.
Oh, Mother Teresa was here in 1990. Go down to the crypt. So I think this will be it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Take care. Goodbye.